What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a pretty unorganized and unscripted video for you guys. And this is going to be regarding my Mufasa build and some of the comments that I've seen there. In case you don't know what Mufasa is, it's a dual Xeon, 48GB of RAM, GTX 690, etc, etc. Hackintosh. And I saw tons of people in the comments saying, wow that's a really nice computer, too bad you installed OS X on it. Personally, I don't understand why people would say that, why you Windows guys don't think that OS X is a real operating system, and that's basically what this, or really who this video is geared towards, is you Windows guys that don't think OS X is a real operating system, and I just want to hear your guys' reasons for saying that. And now, if I leave that just as it is, if I ended the video right now, I guarantee that if I were to scroll down and see those comments, you would say, gaming. With that said, if you if I gave you guys this machine to play some games on, you would not max it out with gaming. And that's what seems to be uh, your guys' discrepancy, is that you don't think I can max out this hardware on OS X. You, for some reason, you just don't think that OS X is going to take advantage of this hardware. And, you know, you guys say that, you know, oh, I can't game on OS X. You could put in like a, a i7 2600K, 16 gigs of RAM, and maybe one or two GTX 680s, and you're all set to go for about any game on the market. So you don't need a machine like this for gaming. And even though OS X isn't as big on gaming as Windows is, you can still game. It's not a software limitation of Macs that you can't game. The only discrepancy is that you know there's a lack of developers because Windows has more market share. That's perfectly fine, but you know, with that said, there are a ton of games on the Mac platform, especially now that Steam is on Mac. We have, we have games like Call of Duty in the Mac App Store. So, I mean, games are on Mac, and they seem to be getting you know more and more popular as the years go by. But with that said, gaming doesn't make an operating system you know a real operating system. It's just something that you can do on that operating system. And not everyone games on their computer. Me, for example, Maybe the occasional game, maybe the occasional Minecraft, or you know, there's like a pinball game and on the Mac App Store or something. Little games like that. I'm not a huge gamer. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with gaming at all, but for me personally, I have a PS3 right over there that I can go play, and that's fine for me. Now moving on past gaming, I want to say that the next, the second reason that I think you guys are going to say that Windows is more of a real operating system is more customization, and that I totally agree with. That is probably one of the reasons that I really am looking at the Android platform for my next upgrade rather than an iPhone. Because not only do I want to be more round, you know, in my technological world, things like that, but I really want to try out Android and the customization that it does offer. But with that said, iOS isn't a fake or a not a real operating system because you can't customize it. They're meant for two entirely different groups of people. Some people want customization, some people could care less. And so it doesn't make one OS real and one not. So with that said, I really want to know what you guys think that makes Windows a real operating system that OS X doesn't have. I mean, there's really intensive applications on both sides. You have video editors on both sides. Premiere is cross-platform. On the, on the Windows side, you have big 3D rendering applications like 3DS. You have little, like, kind of like more consumer applications like Sony Vegas. But when you export and when you actually you know, render things out, that takes all of your CPU, it doesn't matter. And on OS X, you have programs like Final Cut Pro, you have Premiere, you have you know Avid, you have uh, Maya for 3D rendering and things like that. So there's applications that absolutely take advantage of all of these cores. I, I go all of this because that's where Mufasa is. But all those 24 threads, all that 48 gigs of RAM, there's applications on both sides of you know the world here that use all of that hardware. So what you what, like why you guys think that OS X doesn't use that hardware is beyond me. And honestly, I think people that say that just have never tried OS X. They're too closed-minded to try OS X. And you know, with that said, they they don't have that experience that most people have. I mean, most people that have used a Mac have used Windows too. I grew up using Windows. I remember back to like. I want to say Windows 95, and I ran games like Busy Town, and you know I grew up with computers. I learned computers using Windows. I moved to OS X, and I'm not going back because I like it more. That's just my preference. That doesn't mean that one is not a real operating system, one's not. Windows is still a fully, fully functional, great operating system if you want to use it. I just don't, and if you want to use Windows, that's fine. But you can't just talk down OS X because you maybe you don't like it, maybe you haven't even used it. Regardless, I want want you Windows guys down below. Let me know what you think. I'm at CPQ on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. Hope to see you guys in my next video.